Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course Patch Tuesday is upon us. It arrived yesterday, July the 12th and uh, we're looking at uh, issues or anything that uh, might be of interest to those that are actually using um, or having problems installing Patch Tuesday or not. So I looked at the blog posts, I looked at the different um, places where people complain about <coughs> updates. Now, every Patch Tuesday, there is always a minimum amount of people that complain. And, you know, it's difficult to assess because there's so many different configurations. And a lot of people actually um, don't necessarily always say the truth. So there's a, quite a number of people that when they find the updates go are too long, they just, you know, shut down the PC in the middle of the update, which causes issues. There's a people that have a lot of crapware that shouldn't be on their PCs that causes all sorts of issues. Overall, the install problems that I see doesn't seem to be much higher than than average. But with the comments on my channel, I kind of noticed that we talked about the optional bug fixing updates that um, a certain number of people couldn't install last time. And I seem to see that if you had that problem, if you went to your Windows updates and um, you tried to uh, install the Patch Tuesday updates, of course, they will try to install the uh, last bug fixing updates at the same time if it's not there. Uh, seem to have a higher failure rate for the install of the Patch Tuesday updates this month. Uh, a little suggestion just to make sure is that what I would do and would try first is to restart your PC. Don't shut down. Click restart. Wait until it's started. And once it's started, the first thing you should do is simply go to Windows Updates and check for updates and see if it installs as the first thing that you will do on your PC. Uh, remember that a restart is not the same thing as a shutdown. It actually opens up a new fresh copy of Windows. Uh, the other thing that I would probably do is check for any, um, maybe check for the uh, troubleshooting of, of Windows updates. So uh, what you could do is go to the troubleshoot uh, settings and see the troubleshooters um, and of course the one that you uh, will want to try is the troubleshooting of the Windows update um, to see if it works so you can run the troubleshooter for Windows update and Windows 11 uh, and Windows 10 also in Windows uh, updates you will see that the troubleshooter is available run the Windows update troubleshooter and uh, see if that finds any problems or fixes anything it might actually clean up what's left behind re-download the update fresh and uh, see what happens uh, but obviously it probably is caused by the uh, bug fixing update from last month that for some of you has a problem now you know this is where i always find microsoft a little slow and and sometimes almost like you know not ignoring stuff there's enough people complaining that I think Microsoft should have responded to last month's bug fixing update. But nope, no news, no nothing, nothing's happening. That's kind of, you know, uh, a little tiresome that Microsoft acts in that way. So uh, check that, and of course I will be continuing my research to see if I can find a way to explain to you guys how to install it um, if it doesn't work. Of course, you always have the update catalog where you can try and download it manually and install it manually and see if that works. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.